Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the pressurized reaction chamber from Mechanism. So we're going to place this one down, and automatically it connects to our mechanical pipes, which use water, and then our pressurized tubes, which use uh, gases. So uh, right now, this is how you make uh, plutonium pellets in this format. So it automatically brought the water in, and if we go to side configs, what we're going to do is look at gases, because... The gas side right now says it's outputting. We're just going to click that to blue or purple. Clicking it to purple is an input output. So now we have our plutonium inside the pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, from here, you can just throw in your fluorite, not suggested at first. So what we're going to do is place down a, another gas uh, pipe here, and then we can run this into a radioactive waste barrel. Now, if you want to save yourself a uh, long time waiting for radiation to uh, get out of your area, you're definitely going to want this barrel, which breaks down radiation. So if we take a look inside, we're going to throw in our fluorite. Uh, it is going to give us a little bit of waste, and we'll see that in the tank here. So once it produces plutonium or plutonium pellets, it's going to give you spent nuclear waste. This machine does do a few other things. We'll just take a look at that while it's running. So uh, you can make substrate in here. This one will produce hydrogen if you break down coal into sulfur dust. If you uh, you're short on sulfur dust. Uh, this is how you make substrate for this also. So oxygen and uh, ethylene. Another one is you can duplicate the uh, substrate a little bit with ethylene and water. Looks like you can put one substrate in there for eight of them. Uh, for the recipe we're going for is these two right here, the plutonium. So uh, this one is polonium and water. And that makes uh, pl polonium pellets. And this one is the plutonium pellets. So Anyways, you get your waste here, and as you can see, it backs up in here, and we don't want to, uh, we want to eject this in a certain way. So you don't want this to be purple. What happens when you uh, turn that purple, the plutonium is going to get sucked up into the barrel also, and that does not break down inside these barrels like uh, the uh, spent nuclear waste does. So what we want to do is make sure it is on blue. Blue is what you want to go with uh, for gases. we got to go down to gases. All right, there we go, and it uh, ejected it up into here, and that will start to break down. Just word to the wise, uh, while it does have radiation in here, and it's breaking down, like if we uh, if we break that, and we just click on this, you can see it's slowly breaking down and it disappearing. Don't break this barrel until it reaches zero, so I'll just do it uh, just for the sake of it, but if we break this, you can see we've got radiation everywhere, and it takes weeks in-game to, to uh, get rid of this. Another uh, pro tip maybe might be to wear a hazmat suit. So if you do mess up, you don't end up with a bunch of radiation. I should also mention that if you do decide to break this machine while it still has plutonium in it or uh, spent nuclear waste, break it. There you go. You're going to end up with tons of radiation and it's not a small area like our machines over here and we're still in the effective range. I believe it's 80 blocks. So yeah, it's, it's about 80 blocks, 80 blocks of radiation. Your base will be pretty much uh, unlivable until you wait it out. So be very, very, very careful when working with the uh, pressurized reaction chamber. And that's it for this one. Uh, if you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.